Today, the Parliamentary Legal Committee held a meeting to have a look into the processing bills to rationalize stroke merge some government agencies, for instance, the Uganda Human Rights Commission with the Equal Opportunity Commission in a bid to reduce on the expenditures. Does this certificate indicate estimates of the revenue and the expenditure over a period of not less than two years. I think that is the crux of the matter. However, Ministers Nombat Mao, Muruli Mukasa, and Attorney General Chiriowa Chiwanuka were asked to leave the sitting for failure to provide sustainable financial plans struck implications in the bills they presented concerning the merging of government agencies. Can you leave now? Pardon? Can I request so Honorable Nombat Mao and Honorable uh, Muruli Mukasa to politely Honourable Juri, uh, Juliet, you can see them off. The deputy chairperson of the committee, Yusuf Butembuli, highlighted what was required to be presented by the ministers. So we feel this is something that is very paramount because Section 76 of Public Finance Management Act is very clear, okay, that uh, a certificate of that nature must show the, the estimates of revenue and so on. But when you look, prima first, when you look at this particular certificate, does not show the estimates. And therefore, this is not in accordance with Section 76. And as lawyers and as a legal committee, we cannot accept to proceed with something that we feel is not tenable in law. And that is why we have decided to adjourn, sign die. He then mentioned that he would write to the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Monk, to see a way forward. And as a chairperson of the committee, I'm going to write to the Speaker, bring out this to her attention for her guidance before the committee can resume if it is necessary in the circumstances. Chair Municipality MP Ibrahim Semujunganda expressed disappointment towards the mentioned legislators and the works they presented before the committee. I am really shocked that this team is led by two very prominent lawyers, the Honorable Number Tomorrow and Shwano Kachirio, highly respected lawyers, that us, the ordinary souls who are not lawyers, are the ones telling you, please, the law says this, and they are also shocked. He said that this misfiring could cost the country, hence this incident should be a wake-up call to authorities. If the lawyers can't see ordinary English, can they see law? That's why they have entered the contract in this country that have cost us enormous amounts of money. Maybe they don't even look at the document, they just say it. So really, this is a wake-up call to parliament, but also a wake-up call to those who are in government. If I am the one responsible for government, there are people who will lose their jobs today. Ntungamo Municipality MP Yona Mosingozi added his voice towards the lack of mention of financial implications to the government and workers who may be affected by the merging of the government agencies. According to this law, they should have told us how much money when we merge NFA, how much money will government benefit by the merger? Yes, it may be billions of money, but what about this person who have chased away from his job? He has nothing he knows. He only knows to look after forests. If he's an engineer in UNRWA, he, know, he only knows how to make loads for government. Now you have retrenched him. And according to the financial implication, me as their leader, whom you want to use, you have not told me that you have money to compensate them. So it is, it is not acceptable. Let them go and sort them, themselves out. Let the Minister of Finance uh, inform this country, inform parliament that they have money for this merger. If they are not ready, we cannot allow our personnel just to go as if they have not served this country. Early this week, government tabled the Rationalization of Government Agencies Amendment Bill 2024 amidst stiff resistance from some MPs over the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2023, with some MPs saying that they preferred a comprehensive approach to implementing the constitutional reforms instead of a piecemeal approach. <laughs>